crap. So uh, in this old video, um, we're gonna look at uh, what kind of experiences Taurus are going to have in the upcoming week, July 20th to uh, 26th, 2020. And uh, the first uh, reading that we're gonna have is the uh, career one. So let me shuffle and see what you guys are gonna, um, are gonna have. So the first one uh, here for you, Taurus, is going to be the World card. Moving next, that will be the Queen of Swords, followed by the King of Pentacles. And the last one, uh, that will be the uh, Ace of Pentacles. Now that is a legitimately a uh, difficult one. So the cards, once again, uh, that will be the World with uh, the uh, Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the last one here is the Ace of Pentacles. Um, so uh, let's first talk about a little bit for those who are looking for job. Well, in that particular case, it's, uh, it turns out that uh, throughout the week, you are, well, mainly at the end of the week, you have to you should have a, a chance to start a job and actually it will be through a proposition rather generous one that comes uh, that comes in your way but when you get there it will be rather a lot is going to be expected from you so truly i mean if you do decide to jump into the such presented job in front of you in the upcoming week uh, you gotta be ready to give a lot from yourself actually to give um, almost all of your dedication into the job so with that being said or everything else including you know relationships families and um i don't know private life if you will should sit on the back seat for a bit of a time until you situate yourself there uh, because for what it seems as well the uh, the whole environment of the job itself that may be uh, it will be a bit hostile and it's hostile in a sense of that you're not going to get along very well with the colleagues that may be there now for those which are uh, currently working uh, this week uh, it's um, it's a week where there will be obviously a completion here with the world card sitting on the prime of uh, on the prime of the reading and that completion involves a certain stage okay uh it will be a successful one for for the most part or for one or another way it is what i uh, it is what i wanted to say uh, a successful one in a sense of that this this thing uh or this issue is never going to be brought again ever now, it may not be completed the way you want to be completed, but nonetheless, it's it's finished, it's done. And from there, uh, you guys are going to have a, a rare opportunity to further your progress into the current job that you are working at. So even though the project may not be successful, your performance into the project itself or your contribution into the project or in, into the endeavor itself is going to be assessed as a, a successful as a, a and as a, a very productive one so pretty much you are going to be seen as a rather a valuable asset from one side of the company that well, there will be a, an internal struggle there that does not concern you now everybody will see that you are a good worker and a good asset but one side of your bosses okay will think that you should be rewarded other side will think that well that's your responsibility to be valuable assets so or why you should be rewarded for the things that you are supposed to do anyway uh, nonetheless i think that this side that wants to reward you in one or another way is going to prevail at the end and that is exactly how you're gonna get your chance to grow into the career moving forward. So ultimately at the end here, um, you tourists are gonna have a uh, establish, you, you are to establish successful business maneuvers by the end of the week, uh, which obviously are gonna bring a certain dividends to you moving, uh, moving forward into the future. Now, don't take this kindness for granted here though. I mean, uh, you have lifted a bar 
right? You have lift the bar for yourself and for your performance by showing how valuable asset you are. And that is to be expected from you as well moving forward into the future. So yeah, I mean, the job will allow you to grow, but that grow also will require your contribution for the job itself to grow as well. So that was the career reading for you, Taurus. Now let's have a look what kind of a, uh, experiences you're going to have in terms of relationship. Right, so the first one here is going to be the King of Cups. Uh, moving next, that will be the Ten of Wands, followed by uh, the Tree of Pentacles. And moving next, we do have the Four of Cups. So that is a tough one as well. I mean, it's a quite of a... Uh, I don't know how to classify it. Maybe a sluggish week for you, either in terms of career or either in terms of a relationship as well. Um, that is, I mean, sluggish, it is because a lot of conditions needs to align. But nonetheless, these cards are looking very great, very good, and, and in fact, quite great for those that are single. Obviously, we do have King of uh, Cups at the start of the reading, and for those that are single, that would refer to a person who uh, pretty much addresses you with a, a proposition or displays their emotions toward you okay but the thing with the king of cups it's uh, they are very uh, you may find them very strange uh because uh, it's just the emotions that they display they they display them only in front of you but while you are amongst a crowd if you will uh, it looks like they're just a friend of yours i mean they just don't want to show in front of the world if you will that they have something for you in terms of um in terms of emotions so uh that being said if you are used to uh, spend your time amongst many and you never kind of like want to get alone with somebody, for example, someone asks you out on a coffee and you say, you know, okay, but you bring a couple of friends with you there as well, uh, you, you may never see who that person is actually, okay? So pretty much you should uh, emphasize on a singular interactions with the uh, specific individuals rather than interactions in crowds throughout the week. Um, now, the problem here, however, that we do have at, uh, is your... Um, oh, how do you say it? I don't know. I don't know that word. It's pretty much the... Um, the how, how you do let me let me check it into um let me check it in a google translate okay actually no uh, well it, it stands like that so we do have the ten of wands into the second position and i think i had another reading like that uh on an year ago or so that i also struggled about uh, about this word um but it's pretty much when you do have your uh, uh, your criteria, and those criteria are very high, okay? And uh, it's pretty much you are unwilling to back off even a slightest from those uh, from those criteria, and those and one of these criteria may be that this person needs to show you know that they are into you in front of everybody. They may fit with everything else, but just because they don't fit with this one. It's a no-go for you. So you got to be a, a bit mindful, you know, what you can allow to bypass your um, your expectations and what cannot bypass your expectations. Uh, you need to know that pretty much the this person that is to uh, show interest in you 
is willing to uh, pretty much participate into almost everything you have to offer so they will have no objections whatsoever there just so they can you know just so they can establish some kind of a cooperation with you and uh, how do you say it symbiosis okay but in any case by the end of the uh, by the end of the week those uh, that are single that this is only for those that are single for now uh, by the end of the week it's still it won't you are not going to be convinced should you give him a chance or not and this is why because you will uh, kind of like identify that probably is better to keep this one as a friend or you're going to develop more a friendship type of connection with this person than a, an intimate. It will be 50-50 at that point, okay? And it's pretty much you gotta push yourself a little bit beyond the friendship if you want to establish a relationship with this one. But for those who are in a current relationship, uh, the cards are rather quite positive there. It, it does speak that um, there will be quite a big of a compromise from the person that you are with uh, towards you. I mean, they will try to talk with you about the relationship, about the stuff, how they think needs to be done, about the stuff, how you do things as well, what can be changed and all these kind of stuff. And that will be all um, addressed so you both can cooperate with each other to pretty much evaluate the relationship even further, even, even bigger, okay, or to make it even bigger. Because by the end of the reading, um, a, a big elephant in the room is going to be addressed, uh, by the end of the week, I'm sorry, a big elephant of the room is going to be addressed to you, Taurus, that it's simply that the person that you are with, they just want, they, they do want growth, all right? They can't, they can't, date you for the rest of their lives only date you okay they may want family they may want um uh, to start living together they may want to get engaged you know they may want children and etc etc and pretty much they would want an answer there are you willing to give them that but no answer like yes but right now i can't because of something they they will want the answer now i mean that you you can't give that and that you are going to work with them for it okay so pretty much by the end of the reading, it will be your, uh, by the end of the week, I'm sorry, it will play the role, your understanding that uh, the uh, the situation you are in, in terms of relationship, is unsustainable. And you have to decide for yourself, can you bring it to the next level, or it is the end of the line for you. So that being said, this was your weekly general tarot reading Taurus for July 20th to 26, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you like it, guys, and we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.